Yes. Uh, so, I'm once on this conference speaking course. And one of the first things I tell you is to picture the audience in it. I'm going to find that quite difficult, <laughs> but I'm quite willing to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> you audience have some fantastic blurs. <laughs> so the main thing I'm going to talk about today is the importance of education. Don't worry, this is my manifesto. Uh, but it's important that we learn. We learn all the time, we learn every day, we learn in school, college, wherever. And we also get things from friends. However, guys, we should never trust your friends. Always double check facts. So I've got this one friend who is probably the most intelligent person I know. None of my friends here do apologize. <laughs> She's funny, she's caring, she's attractive. But oh, my fuck is she gorgeous. <laughs> now, just to give you a rough idea of how intelligent she is, if she has any more degrees, she'd be a right angle. <laughs> but as I alluded to earlier, she's a few degrees short of a uh, right angle, which makes her acute. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, so we were sat there watching a football game once, um, and neither of us really know which type of football. But I know the basics, and I don't mind because we're not paying for it. So, first half happens, no problem. Half time comes and goes, that short 15 minutes. And then the second half starts, and my friend, once again, highly intelligent, turns to me and goes, I can't believe you do that so quickly. Yeah, Jerry, what do, you, what do you mean? Right, before I go any further, what is the major difference between the first half of a football match and the second? Swap sides. Swap thank you very much. I'm so glad you guys are. <laughs> My friend, who is, is highly educated, thought that at half time, those thousands of, uh, of buyers go from one side of the stadium all the way to the other. <laughs> all the cameras, she thought, moved around. Now here's the thing guys, you don't always need to know certain things until you need to know. It's not exactly like the trust me to buy a rifle, is it? <laughs> so don't exactly need to know. That'll do that. Anyway, so uh, I'll tell you this little story about the time I was running doing over with my mum. Yeah, I think it's good. Up until, right, every time the number 69 came out, <laughs> my mum would turn to me and go, Dan, she calls me Dan, we didn't get right. Dan, why do they keep laughing at the number 69? <laughs> well, I don't want to be the one to tell you. <laughs> no, no, what is it? it no, no. Well, uh, fine. So I just looked up, dead in the eye, and went, when I'm only a daddy, you love each other, very much. And they both want to go to the buffet at the same time. My mum, I can hear that, pops her head above the whole room, and just goes, Are you 
really love for a triangle. <laughs> what? I'm feeling cold.